Wayne, first of all, uh, how excited are you to be getting back to playing darts after uh, after the BDO World Championship win and getting a chance to play in the world title game tonight? Well, yeah, it's it's been a long time for me. It's been a long haul, you know, after winning the world title. Looking forward to this year, but it's been a, a killer, really. So it's, it is. It's going to be strange. It's going to be strange, but um, I'm looking forward to 100%. Yeah. If we talk about how strange of a year it's been for you after winning the world title, do you think that if, if, if obviously normal circumstances had been around, you would have been able to go around and obviously play play a lot of darts alongside it? What do you think that this match in particular and what Mad's going to be able to do is going to mean for you and for the amateur game in particular to be able to sort of revitalise it after what's happened in the video? Well, I, I'm a big believer in amateur darts, simple as I've been brought up amateur darts. So all my life, it's simple. Um, it's only now I got a chance to go professional and, and and I feel sorry for the amateur side of it, what's happened with the BDO, um, but I think my darts will will overrun them now. I, I'm, as soon as I had a phone call, you've got to be stupid to turn that down. And I'm, I jumped on the case straight away and I didn't think twice. And I hope it really be very successful for not for only Steve and the rest of the crew, um, for all the amateur players as well. Cheers, Wayne. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hi, Wayne. Um, after all the uncertainty, do you feel that the future of amateur darts is in safe hands now and players are motivated again to, to get back on the practice board? Definitely. Um, when, you, when you look at the guy who's running this, uh, Steve Brown, he, he's been around. Um, he's been in the professional side of it, the amateur side of it. You, you couldn't wish uh, a better guy to run. It, it, is, it is in safe hands, I can tell. And what are your thoughts on, on the boxing style system of, of championship belts as well? Yeah, 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 I think it's great. It, it's, it's something different. Um, uh, when, when I got explained what was happening and I thought, what, what a great idea. And I, I think it really is. It, it's going to kick off. This is only a start, I think. Thanks, Twin. Okay. Wayne, I was going to ask you a follow to that. I mean, do you feel like prize fighters with these belts raised above uh -huh. your head? <laughs> no, I'm I'm not a fight demo lover. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. No, I see I, see. I, I I know where you're coming from. Um, yeah, really. When when you when you think of it, you you got that belt and that, and it's you know a boxing side of it. it sometimes it gets over promoted, I suppose. But um, I think it's it's something different. Darts needs it's the amateur side of it is, is this is going to kick off. I, I think this is going to be massive, massive. Because there was a hole left by the BDO's demise. Do you think that MAD can fill this hole? And are you going to go to Q School next month or are you going to stick with amateur darts for the next 12 months? Well, obviously, I love, I love my amateur side of it because um, I'm able to work or whatever. But after winning the, the BDO Wars last year, work was my, my last thing I ever thought I'd be doing. Um, I was professional is, is the way forward, obviously. Um, but yes, I am going to Q school, where for two reasons. We don't know how long this COVID is going to last for. As I said, being on the amateur side of it, uh, I haven't been playing darts because of lockdown. Um, I'm not um, one to throw in the house like a lot of other players on the internet. It's not, it's not for me. So I've actually, you know, I've had nine months or so without any competitive darts, but I'm the Grand Sam, you have been told in that. But I think. If the chance comes up, you've got your sponsors and that, and they ask you to go to Q school, you'd be silly to turn it down, really. Um, I'm going to have a go at Q school, but if I get a card, all well and good. If I don't, I know I got mad to fall back on and, and so forth. Thank you. Thanks. Is that everybody? Okay. Oh, somebody else coming. No, no, I'm done. Right, let's get your old friend in there. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I, uh, just to follow up on on, on Q School, uh, what do you make of that two stage uh, qualification process, which is in place? Have you had a chance to read? I know that's going to be something different because if you happen to qualify the first day and and you live a fair way away, you know what I mean. Do you go home for four or five days, and then travel back up, which is extra cost again, or do you stay the whole week? Well, it's more than a week. Um, I don't know how to make of that really. 
person i i hope i play in the second the second lot and 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 get a card that's why i haven't got to stay so long but um it it is what it is and and that's the way forward i suppose as as the the pdc way of looking at it so if they think it's right we got to buy bit yeah thanks Hi, uh, Wayne, it's uh, Delania from PDC Cymru. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I lost connection, so I might have missed a few questions. But, um, you know, back in July, when you when you sort of pledged allegiance to MAD after speaking to Steve and, and the MAD team, um, you know, they soon made you like a, a brand icon and you set your sights quite early on on becoming the first MAD world champion. So, you know, looking back at 2020, things can't have gone much worse for you. So, firstly... What did it feel really to have that vote of confidence from Steve and the team? And, you know, how, how's your game looking coming off the back of the Grand Slam ahead of, ahead of the game with Mark tonight? Um, well, obviously, I'm not playing Mark first. I'm playing uh, Scott. Um, he's gone off. connection. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, going back to um, the question you asked me. Um, yeah, the Grand Slam. Obviously, I, I found it very difficult because of this COVID, and I'm obviously I'm not used to all that. Um, I've I, literally I've worked. I've been so busy in work, and I, I've taken because it's COVID. I've taken a break from darts actually because I I've been I, I've been it it in the guts a bit after after. What what the video are trying to do? Mm -hmm. What they they, they doing? And the, the the emails I've had of them and different things, and it's all built up. But um, to be honest, as soon as I had that phone call of Steve, honest, there's only one way forward for me now. If I get a P, if I get a tour card, all well and good. But I I, yeah. I wouldn't cry about it if I don't because I'm gonna tell you this now: the amateur side of it is going to be looked after massively. I think. I think way better and we've ever been looked after with the BDO because it's not only the last two years the BDO being gone down, it's been going down for a long time. But the the Jack Lynn's just put a um the, the final screw in the coffin, and if you understand what I mean. And yeah. I am absolutely looking forward to um being involved and in playing in, in with my darts and we got a good guy looking after it and I think he'll do a massive job. Massive job. We don't worry about the video. They're gone now. Yes. Um, do you know what I mean? This is the way forward for amateur darts. Yeah. That's good to hear, Wayne. Um, yeah. just, just one other little point. I know, um, you know, you mentioned in some of the interviews after the Grand, after, after the Grand Slam, maybe struggling with match practice. How, how have you gone about well, trying to deal with that now, or look, going into Q? Since, since that, I, I've, I've, look, as most people know, my manager knows, I, I'm not one to actually practice because I was, I was playing enough darts through the week, had little tournaments, tournaments weekend, but we've had nothing. But since since the Grand Slam, I was found out and I've had actually put a board up, um, which I was set up by um, Red Dragon. They, they're good to me, like, you know what I mean? They, they are, they are yeah. part of my sponsorship. And they, they come, they, they've set everything up being at my home. And I've been I'm gonna throw one in. I feel way, way more confident I'm back. To my head is back where they should be, and um, I'm just looking forward to tonight. Now, uh, where, where I was a bit lost in the Grand Slam because it, it was it was so strange. You couldn't do things. You couldn't do this. You couldn't go there. They looked after us brilliant. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. if you know me, I like to mix with people and have a chat and shake hands with people and you know more friendly. I'm friendly, but we couldn't do none yeah. of that. And you do, it was only He's certain times you would be in. So, um, yeah, I, it's, it's, I'm looking forward to tonight, Dan. And let's hope now um, the new year, 2021, will be a, a much, much better year, not only for myself, but for the whole of darts as well. Whole of darts. Clear. Yeah. No, all, all the best tonight, Wayne, and good luck uh, when Q School comes round. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wayne, can I just ask, do you feel let down this year? Do you feel let down by what's happened? Massively. Yeah, yeah. Look, um, at my age, at my age in this game of darts, is these youngsters are taking over. They, they, they tremendous, tremendous players. Where I should have won hundred thousand from the BDO, plus I could generate more money in through exhibitions. It's, it's, it would have been life changing actually for me. Life changing at my age in this sport. 
so I do feel I have been let down massive, massive. If it weren't for my sponsorship, uh, my management team, the big five and that, I, I don't know, I think I'd be lost. I think I'd be lost. I'd be in the corner doing the thing and, and they, they really lifted me up and, and kept me going, to be honest. And now they were meeting this weekend and the support I have of, of, of not only of them, the support I have of everybody. They've all felt for me for what I've lost and the way I've been treated with the BDO is absolute disgrace. And where's the trophy? Do you, can you have to give the trophy back or are you going to... I can tell you where the trophy is. It's sitting on my living room table 